This is a very fast moving video, but it's very informative. Try to pay attention to details. I'm going to be going through it and taking it apart a little bit later in the presentation. How did you decide to become a hacker? <laughs> well, I'm not really sure what it means to become a hacker. That's like some guy in a hoodie who types really fast and stays up all night writing code and cracking passwords. It's not me. I just spy on people and see what makes them click. It's not a bad job. Mark Hanning, CEO of Qualicart, set to report earnings after their blockbuster IP. So you consider this a job? I put a lot of work into this. I'm not lazy. It takes research to figure out the key players, learn all about them, their families, their friends, what they care about. You have to understand the company's organization. I get a lot of my information from the sales department because they're always so quick and eager. They're hungry. People trust too easily. They don't look at the details. I do. Details matter. That's what I'm good at. It has to look completely believable. It has to look familiar. This is where research is important. It's not some generic piece of spam. It's an email from their boss with their company's signature. It's written in the voice of the boss. It's what he would say if he were writing this. What about the malware itself? How does that work? Somebody else out there already wrote all the code that does the actual attack. I'm just using it in the attachment. My skill is in my ability to get a bunch of people to click on that attachment. I always wonder what it's like when the whole thing unfolds on their end, when the panic sets in. Please leave your message after the beep. Hey, this is Rajiv in finance. Call me as soon as you get this. Something's up with my laptop. I can't Katie, are you on your way into the office? Something's going on with our file uh, servers. It's the Karen in HR. Our benefits dashboard seems really slow. We're getting calls from users on it. Can you call me get this? Apparently, there's a malware attack targeting our main... It's ransomware. They're holding us hostage. We're locked out of everything. I, I can't even check my phone. What about the backup? That will take days. We need this fixed now. Just pay it. We don't have a choice. We're reporting earnings in two hours. But how do we know Just that they'll... pay it. Put every single person on getting us back up and running. That's the only priority now. Okay, it's done. I have the decrypt key. Problem. The ransomware was just to distract us. They got inside. They got everything. Customer data, financials, everything. Qualicart is reeling today from the news that hackers have released the personal information of nearly the two Nasdaq million The Nasdaq closed customers. lower today, led by Qualicart, which was down 14% on news that their recent data the breach may be far worse than the company its originally stock fell to a new all-time low on news that CEO Mark Hanning is stepping down after what is turning out to be one of the worst breaches of personal information in recent history. Do you feel bad about releasing the personal information? All the financials? All the money that was lost? All I did was get the files. I'm not the one that decided to release them. I'm not the one that shorted the stock. Somebody else had their reasons for that. It's above my pay grade. I was paid to do a job, and I did it well. And that's what's expected of anyone, isn't it? Anyway, markets bounce back. Now let's take apart that video. From the beginning, this company, Qualicart, by the way, Qualicart and the individuals mentioned are all fictitious. Uh, we'll take it apart here. So it doesn't mention why Qualicart was a target, and even the attacker didn't really give any, it doesn't matter to her, right? She was just hired to do the job, right? So for some reason, Qualicart was the target, and this Mark Hanning is the CEO of Qualicart. So she did a little easy research, did a lookup, and uh, does anybody recognize the, uh, that's probably really hard to see back there, but this SP in a search engine, anybody know what that is? So I'll flick over and show you here. Star page, anybody heard of that? The world's most secure claim to, at least claims to be the world's most private search engine. 
My only point in that was saying that she was trying to stay on the down low, right? She was trying to stay undetected with even her research and reconnaissance, didn't want anybody tracking her back. So she was trying to stay private. She finds Mac, Mark Hanning, confirms that in fact he is the CEO of uh, Qualicart. Then she goes on to the one application on the web where way too many people put way too much information, Facebook. Um, however, you know, even on the front page, relationships says that Mark here is married to Lisa Hanning. So let's do a little research on Lisa to see what we can find. Lisa went to Wesleyan University. So then the attacker fabricates uh, this uh, character, Julie, and reaches out and says, hey, remember me back from college? You know, and tries to add herself as a friend with a friend request. Julie, or Lisa rather, says, well, I don't remember Julie, but you know, she knew a lot of people in college. So she accepts the request, and after that, the hacker is looking through all of her personal photos of her kids, and I think that was probably the most disturbing part of the whole video is, is this attacker is looking through her, their personal life to try to gather clues as to how they can compromise this company. And also, uh, there was a quick little blurb here. There was a uh, press release where it was telling about Qualicart was making record earnings. So that was information she could keep as uh, part of her attack. And she does a lookup on this, uh, uh, this employment site. It's, uh, it's like employed.net. I think it's a British uh, in, uh, job site, LinkedIn sort of thing. And she was able to glean from that the other employees that work at Qualicart. And then went on to Qualicart's website, clicked on contact sales. There was a reason for this. Just reached out and fabricated some request to meet them for whatever reason. The sales department, of course, once sales, so they reply back uh, to Mario, this 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 other uh, fabricated individual, to say, "Yeah, we'd love to meet you." Okay, included in his signature is included in his email is his signature, which the attacker uses to just grab the signature and 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 plug in a fictitious user, which we'll cover here in just a second, so that the signature looks legitimate. Uh, before that step, but it made made sense to go there first. She does a little search to see what domain names are similar in spelling to Qualicart. Saw that Qualicart, just replacing the I with the L, was available. Added the domain. You get a free email account with it. Created an email, m.hanning at Qualicart, which is very close to m.hanning at Qualicart. And that's what she used back here to create that signature. Then she goes out to Malware R Us downloads malware from the service and they say look at look at the bitcoins they had asking for 100,000 bitcoins so it's $12,000 a pop that's a lot of money that's a high ransom right downloads the file this is an exploit kit includes it in an email that looks legitimate out to the individuals that she gathered off of that employment site a number of them attaches the forged signature the attachment it looks legitimate, it references the uh, press release. You know, hey, good job on the earnings last you know, quarter. Keep it up. Here are our plans in this attached PDF. And only a discerning eye, I don't know how to show it on this uh, chart here, would, would, would be able to tell that in the top, the email address had an I instead of an L to try to thwart the effort. So of course, people look at it, it looks legit. They want to know what's going on. They open a PDF and next thing you know, they pull it down, and ransomware compromises their machines. Uh, the nice thing about this is the attacker gets a nice handy dashboard of how many installs and how many locked screens there are. So that's uh, it's very convenient for the attacker, not so much for the victim. Right, Tom? Uh, then the panic sets in. IT gets calls. My PC's running slow. I can't get in. I got this weird screen. And uh, you know, IT gets up to management, upper management. What do we do? We can't let this get out. Our reputation is at stake. We got to shut it down as quickly as possible. Pay the ransom. I don't care how, care how much it is. We just got to shut it down before the word gets out. But they're using a browser, the Tor browser. Who knows that is the Onion Router Tor? You guys heard of that? Just wraps things in layers so that it's hard to track. So she's using all these tools on the, you know, where she can cover her tracks. You notice she's doing the entire thing from some coffee shop entire attack. So even they tracked it back by IP to this, you know, what are they going to do? Right? So 
Anyway, the victim decides to pay the ransom, they get the key, they unlock their system, and all is good, the system comes back. It's done, it's quieted, their reputation is saved, they're just out a bunch of money, and they can move on. Except that the ransomware was only covering for the real attack, where with the command and control mechanisms, you know, they're inside, they're past their perimeter firewall on systems with free reign to whatever goes on inside their network. And they found a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which were all their financial informations and uh, uh, social security cards, which I, I didn't grab a picture of because it made me nervous even to get a, a snapshot of, of, of uh, fictitious social security numbers. But, uh, you know, everything from this company they need to ruin the company. Okay. And then the repercussions. So, word gets out that they were compromised. Confidential information was leaked. The stocks go down. The shareholders are starting to bail out. Um, the news finds out, and they're more than willing to drag you through the mud. Then, uh, you know, the stocks fall even more as a result of that. And the shareholders are looking for someone to hold accountable for this, and they need their scapegoat. And poor Mark Hanning, who had exactly nothing to do with this attack, maybe he didn't even receive this attachment, wasn't aware at all, he takes the fall for it. All right, so, so here's some sources I had. The anatomy of an attack um, is, was, the, was the video, and you can Google that and find that. And then uh, one of them was Ransomware Defense for Dummies. It's a really great little book. I actually found it as a, as a booklet, but it's available as a PDF for free. And if you search for that, you can get all these other ones as well.